Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sarah. How you doing? Today I'm going to be talking about All My Rage by Saba Tahir. If you aren't familiar with Saba Tahir, she writes the infamous An Ember in the Ashes series, which is a YA dark fantasy, and it's a high concept fantasy. It is so good and so wonderful. I think it's probably one of my favorite book series of all time. I recommend it to everyone. It's fantastic. If you are interested, I highly recommend going and checking her out. She is a very talented writer and now I have read her new book which is All My Rage and it's a little bit different from An Ember in the Ashes because it's a contemporary fiction story. It's not fantasy at all which is you know drastically different from all a uh, member in the ashes and all my rage is about this girl her name is Noor and a boy his name is Salaudin which is shortened to Sal and they lead very difficult lives they are both of Pakistan descent I believe and they live in America and they are experiencing the challenges that come with racism and being a lower income family and going through death and grief and anger and rage and all of the emotion Noor and Salaudin Salaldin are best friends and Noor once admitted that she is in love with Salaldin and he rejected her and so they they were kind of torn apart with their friendship but after someone dies they rekindle their friendship and they help each other out and the book follows them and their stories and their growth and their families and their struggles and their rage and it is beautiful and wonderful and I it's the type of book that you read and you're like how does the writer write this and how is it so good and I could never write something this good you know I aspire to be an author myself and I read a lot of books I love reading I love writing and this is the type of book where I am like I could never do this because it's so brilliant and it's so so well written so that is my glowing non-spoilery review of all my rage. If that sounds interesting to you, you can go check out all of my rage and come back after you've read the book so I don't spoil you, okay? So bye people who don't want to be spoiled, come back. Alright, so as I mentioned, All My Rage is wonderful. I loved it. It was so dark and so sad. We basically start off the book with Noor and Salaudin and establishing their relationship together. We learn what happened, how they had their fight, how he pushed her away and said he didn't like her even though she professed her love for him. And then we have Salaudin's mom die and she was close with Noor, so much so that out of respect Noor called her auntie and Noor and Salaldin come together to try to keep Salaldin's family motel running. It's called The Clouds Rest and his dad is drunk and Noor's uncle, she was with her uncle, which that whole story was so sad. Uh, he rescued her from Pakistan. He dug through dirt and like tore his fingernails off to save her. She was the only one in her family that survived and he's rescued her but he's you know abusing her and I, I really should have seen that coming earlier on but I didn't really see it until like Nor started flinching a lot and her wrist hurt and things like that. Um, so that whole story arc was very sad but after Slaldin's mom dies seeing Nor and Slaldin come together and bonding over their heritage and their culture it's interesting to read about and sad and it's good for everyone to understand different stories and hear about different experiences and know what other people are going through. So I loved that aspect of the book and I really did did like both Noor and Salaldin. I liked how they had rage as such big parts of this book. It's so accurately described as all my rage. That's a very common theme throughout the whole book and it's just crazy how their lives kept getting worse, right? Like Noor's family died at birth and her uncle rescued her and so she feels indebted to her uncle. You know, she goes through that montage like he came to Pakistan because there were no flights. He drove for two days. He dug through the rubble because he heard crying like over and over again. Even though he would beat her, she tried to forgive him and she tried to move on because he saved her life and she owed him this debt and she's trying to like apply for colleges and like Brooke is like trying to help her but at the end Brooke's not very helpful. 
and like her grades and Jamie at school is so mean to her like it is a heartbreaking story and it just feels so real and it feels so honest and truthful and it's just raw and wonderful and then you have Slaudin whose dad isn't even supposed to be drinking because of their religion so he has to kind of keep that a secret and he has to he ends up dealing drugs to save his family's motel and then at the end oh my goodness we have to talk about the ending he's a drug dealer and he has his ex-girlfriend that he deals to even though he shouldn't because she's already being dealt drugs from someone else and then she ends up getting in a car crash and almost dying but of course like he still cares about her and he still goes to the hospital to make sure she's okay and and then while he's at the hospital, his doctor's like, oh, by the way, you were abused when you were a kid, but she doesn't, of course, come right out and say that. And so we learn why he can never go in the laundry room, like there are so many different things going on and so many threads weaving together and all creating this concophony of like wonderful storytelling. And it was so great to see. And so Nora's applying to colleges and she has to hide it from her uncle because he doesn't want her to go to college because he wants her to work in the liquor store. And like, you, I knew, I knew she was gonna get into UCLA because it was the only one that she hadn't heard from and like her password wasn't working online. I knew that she was gonna get into it. I'm so glad she did and I'm so glad Salaldin found that for her. And then Salaldin on the flip side, like, you know he's just doing everything to protect his dad and protect the motel and like, he falls into a bad way because what other choice does he have? He falls into dealing drugs even though he knows it's wrong and then when the policemen pull them over Like that was that scene was so awful because there were multiple facets like Nora's all beat up and Salaldin's trying to rescue her But then the cop pulls them over and the cop immediately thinks that Nora was beaten up by Salaldin And then he hands her the drugs to hide and she hides them under her seat and like then they think Nora sold the drugs And it's like this whole big mess and so then they end up going to court and like it was so interesting where the lawyers trying to protect Salaldin at whatever cost even against his wishes and you know Noor ends up getting off and Salaldin ends up getting a very relatively light punishment which is good because like you know in the end we're all rooting for him because we know he's not really a bad guy he's just trying to protect his family and then Noor gets to go off to college and that one person I'm forgetting her name but she's Noor's lawyer like she takes such good care of Noor and it was so rewarding and heartwarming to finally see Noor taken care of like after everything she went through it was so sad and I'm so glad that we did have that little glimmer of happiness for Noor you know at the end she goes to her college and she like bonds with her roommate and her roommate loves to read and I'm like oh my gosh her roommate loves to read because all of the book nerds reading this book are like yes she loves to read and so then Noor decides to start sending Salaldin books in prison to you know keep his time that was so good and then we even get thrown a little comfort by Saba with uh, Santiago being uh, Salaldin's cellmate in jail and he meets Santiago in prison the first time and he has Ecclesiastes I think it was on his arm like there are so many things in this book that just come back at the end and like tie together and it's so enjoyable and so good and like I said I really do love the theme of rage spring throughout because who can blame these poor kids and these poor people who are just constantly beat down by the world and like look at Jamie this like white girl who's obviously racist who the system is like protecting and no one sees her as really a threat and nor who's getting bullied and you know abused is looked at as the problem I thought it was so interesting and so well done and I, I loved it. I loved reading about it. I would definitely give this book an A, five out of five stars, very good. And one of the things I loved about this book too is it really just shows how talented Saba Tahir is as a writer because you have her writing this fantastic YA fantasy series and then she turns around and she publishes this great contemporary fiction like statement book that's just so good. And both are YA, but they're vastly different and still so good and so beautiful. And if you get a well-rounded reader who like likes all types of things like me, it's just it's just great. And All My Rage feels like the type of book that they should teach in classrooms. Like I wanted to text some of my teachers from years past and be like, hey, have you read this book? Because it's wonderful and I feel like you should teach it in your class. Like a high school literature class should be teaching all my rage. 
I, I firmly think that that would be such a good piece to teach in school because there's so much to unpack, there's great characters, there's great cultural, you know, societal issues and things that they bring to light and they talk about. It's YA, so the kids would relate to it. Like, ah, I think this would be a great book to teach in high school. But I digress. What did you think of All My Rage? I would love to hear from you. Tell me in the comments down below. That would be great. And if you want to go check out my other book talks on Sabata Here's Books, I will link them for you in the description down below. That includes An Ember in the Ashes, A Torch Against the Night, all of that fun stuff. And if you haven't clicked that subscribe button already, please be sure to do that because I make new videos every Thursday and I would love for you to come hang out with me. And if you want to click that thumbs up button, that would be great as well. It's free and it really helps me out. I'm trying to grow my subscriber count and my likes and my comments, so interact with this video in any way you can. I would greatly appreciate it. And send this video to a friend or a teacher if you think they would enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you next Thursday. Bye!